This is Witchbase News for Friday the 25th of February 2022 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week ...the maximum distance from Sol record is smashed ...after an about turn by Frontier the community goal rewards from last week are reviewed but Colonia still misses out if you've never dipped into group exploration events then there's a burr pit favourite heading into the black really soon and the Frontier Community Meet and Greet is happening today. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. Last weeks CGs ended this week with the utter decimation of the Dark Water forces in Summerland gifting free decals for commander participants. Likewise the Colonia Bridge project gifted cockpit lights to all participants once the CG passed tier 1. The text of the CG wasn't as well worded as it could have been and the intention was to gift the cockpit lights to the top 75% of participants but as the CG text didn't specifically state this Frontier fessed up in a brief forum post and gifted the lights to all participants once the CG passed tier 1. Sadly the CG at the Colonia end was not able to reach tier 1 and as at the time of recording ...more on that in a moment ...no one in that particular CG got the freebie lights. Having originally been scheduled for before Christmas the Frontier Community Meet and Greet event is finally taking place today as this video goes out ...Friday the 25th of February after the easing of the UK's pandemic restrictions now make it possible. Rini and myself are actually at the meet and greet event and as a result rather than being recorded on the day of release to be as up to date as possible this video is actually being recorded the day before. The community meet and greet with Frontier was originally pitched as just that ...a meet and greet and no announcements or new feature discussions have been teased or promised. Frontier again emailed everyone attending the event on Wednesday to reiterate and manage that expectations ...so I'm passing that expectation on here. We solidly do not expect to hear anything new or terribly groundbreaking about the game at all this weekend ...but we are expecting a giggle filled evening meeting lots of fellow commanders and the team at Frontier. If you're attending the event and see Rini and I there do please come and say hello ...we'd love to meet you. Commander Heliat has smashed the previous record for reaching the farthest distance from Sol. After travelling in supercruise away from Semitus Beacon for somewhere in the order of 50 days stopping only to sip fuel from a series of dedicated tanker ships ...the distance running commander arrived 279 light years beyond the arrival star of the system which is directly opposite Sol on the grand galactic scheme of things placing them a total of 65,926 light years from Sol. Just to underline that again in case you missed it ...that's 50 days in supercruise travelling 279 light years making a total of 65,926 light years from Sol. Utterly bonkers. The record attempt was highlighted on a livestream with Commander Deluvian who himself was rescued by the Fuel Rats in an equally Herculean long distance rescue mission back in 2019. Stuff like this is just one of the things that makes Elite Dangerous so unique in its genre. I love it. Congratulations to all involved Gauntlet well and truly thrown down for whomever sees fit to pick it up next. On the subject of travelling long distances ...newer players to the game may not realise that group long distance expeditions in Elite Dangerous have been a thing pretty much since day one of the games launch. Generally speaking there is almost always an expedition prepping to leave or midway through all the time. Just between now and mid April for example there are 3 expeditions leaving for commanders to choose from. The elaborately named Does the Sun Still Rise in the East in the East expedition leaves on the 1st of March. 
Mid April we'll see the Marathon Expedition leaving for the Deep Black and this week the player group The Fatherhood announced that their Lost Souls Expedition will be heading out to the Black for its third installment on the 1st of April. Here at the Burr Pit we have a particular soft spot for both the Fatherhood as a group and the Lost Souls series of expeditions. The Fatherhood's original Lost Souls expedition was my first ever deep space exploration experience in the game and I have very fond memories of its weekly waypoints and in particular the group meetup at the Zurara Megaship. Good times indeed. If you've not participated in a group elite dangerous activity before these expeditions are always a great way to dip your toes in. They generally feature lots of meetups, mass jumps, shenanigans with long lasting camaraderie and friendship being a definite given. You'll find all the expeditions I've talked about listed on the venerable pages of the Elite Dangerous Star Map website which is linked below. Are you planning on signing up to an expedition or are you headed to the meet and greet this weekend in Cambridge? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then O7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.